Kiki Hira Singh, and we are here at Quan and Riem Floating Market, which has a fascinating history behind it. Let's take a tour. If you like exploring markets, then this is one of Bangkok's newest floating markets, and it's a real hidden gem. The Quan Riem Floating Market is located in the eastern suburbs of Bangkok, on a stretch of the San Sab Canal between two temples, Wat Bang Pen Nia and Wat Bang Pen Tai. A bridge spans the canal, linking the two sides of the floating market. There are also guide boat tours on the San Sab Canal. Surprisingly, the guides on board are schoolgirls aged around 78 years old from the Wat Bang Pen Nia School. They tell passengers about the background of the market and narrate the history and importance of Sunset Canal, where visitors can see the traditional canal life up close. We stop for a coffee break at this cute little boat cafe. Well, worth a stop. แล้วก็คิดว่าเออวัดสงบดีถ้าเราจัดเอ่อให้พระตักบาททางน้ําเนี่ยนะครับคนควรจะคนมีมีเอ่อน่าจะมีคนมาใส่บาทเยอะก
Once they become a friend with the Thai tourist police, line users can report emergencies, seek for help, as well as receive travel-related news and safety tips. This is the the best way right now with the the way that we can uh, link to the tourists. The best way, the easiest way, and the fastest way that we can give the information or uh, to warning them or, or give them about the tourist activities that getting around in, in Thailand, so they can can know and they can update their day. There are almost 500 million line users worldwide, and if, like most users, you love sending those fun line stickers when you message people, then you now also have the tourist police character Lieutenant Chen to brighten up your day. Sawati Cup. My name is Lieutenant Change. Welcome you all to Thailand. The tourist police character Lieutenant Chen stickers offer the cute and fun set of messages and help create a positive image for the tourist police as an easy-going and friendly figure to be approached. The line application can help the tourist police to be a good image for the uh, use the technology to be the the medium for the Thai user and also the foreigner user in Thailand. The Tourist Police Line account and stickers reached 500,000 downloads only 30 minutes after they were released and 5.5 million within a week. Visitors to Thailand can collect a free Thailand SIM card at the airport and easily make use of the Line app while in the country. So I arrived in Thailand about three weeks ago. It's when I saw the promotion for the Line sticker by the Thai Tourist Police. So I downloaded the app, I saw that there are very cute stickers and emotions that you can use. And I think it's very convenient that I can get in touch with the tourist police if there's any problems, if there's anything that I need just online. You're watching Destination Thailand. Chart your course for all points. Set course for all. Paddy is most exciting. Paddy is most index. Paddy is most in point. Has most edged new heights. It new heights. It towers 30 stories over the soul after hilltop. On cool after hill. It on cool after hill. Of Pratum after hill. World class after hill. World class after hill. World class after hill. The design class after hill. That O class after hill. Books the O class after hill. Books the O class after hill. Thinks the O class after hill. World of your club after hill. And this is your club after hill. This is your club after hill. This is your club. The great journey of their lives begins here. A place where skills are developed and values are cherished. Where friendships are forged and responsibility is encouraged. Where challenges are faced and talent blooms. Give your children the best education. Regions International School, Bangkok. Home of well-rounded leaders for the future. Luxury takes many forms. The Riviera Jom Tien captures the very best of today's lifestyle. Building on the success of Riviera Wongamat, Riviera Jom Tien will offer the ultimate in gracious living. 46 stories, stylish modern facilities, a family paradise just steps from the beach. Riviera Jom Tien, a new journey begins. You're watching Destination Thailand. If you are looking for some retro dining or entertainment in Bangkok, there are several places to choose from. Located on Ekamai Soi 21, Soi Cham Chan, Y50 combines marvellous memorabilia with excellent French roasted coffee 
and both homemade and locally produced sweets, sandwiches and snacks. The building has had several different identities over its 20 year history, as I touched on with the owner of the store, Nick. It's a very long time ago, since I was a cabin crew, I have a chance to uh, fly around the world and uh, European countries is my favourite places to go and when I went up to Scandinavian, it's my favourite. At the very beginning, I mean a few years when I started this job, yeah, I only concentrate in Scandinavian design yeah, for like four or five years and then uh, start to mix up with some different style later, yeah. And Ed, to, to put a coffee shop in the middle is a great idea. Is that your yeah. idea or your wife? Uh, that's my wife's uh, side. I think that's a strong belief from her. Yeah, and she really liked to do something. That's the case. Most of the imported items here are of Scandinavian origin, but there are also several other countries represented. Now, all or any of the items here at Y50 are available for purchase. Each item is individually priced, so whilst you're having your coffee, have a wander, and if you see an item you like, it's for sale. So if you are perhaps feeling a little homesick, you can head here and immerse yourself in a place rather unlike the majority of Bangkok. And perhaps even pick up a keepsake to stick on your wall or pop on your shelf as a nice little reminder of home. Already with a loyal following of regulars, I asked Boy what the appeal was about Y50. I like the atmosphere here. Yeah, and uh, furniture, retro style. Especially the coffee. The, the coffee, coffee here is, well. it is very good. The bottomless pit of eclectic things to do and see and experience in Bangkok is further enriched by this lovely, relaxed, informal cafe slash mini warehouse. You will immediately be made to feel welcome by husband and wife proprietors Kate and Eck. Y50 is well worth a visit, as is this area as there are several retro style businesses to explore, all rather unique to Bangkok. Now as if Bangkok wasn't already home to a wonderfully diverse mix of cafes and eateries. Try this one for size. Retro was alive and well in Bangkok. Tuba located on Ekamai Soy 21 is a popular, distinctly retro bar slash restaurant slash furniture store, which offers an environment unlike any other in the city. All the furniture you see here is part of the actual restaurant seating, and all of which is for sale, or at the very least, for rent. Why do you like coming to Tuba? Tuba is a different atmosphere from the other pub. It's like a have a retro decorations and good atmosphere. I like it and the food is nice. Ten years on and still gaining in popularity, I could understand why. The menu offers a good mix of both Thai and Western food, assorted drinks and cocktails. Now pretty much everywhere you look here at Tuba, there's something that grabs your attention. Now it's still early, but I'm hoping that there are no medical procedures necessary this evening, especially under this light. The upstairs function room is available to host your special occasion in, and it is a good idea to book closer to the weekend, as the place rapidly started to fill up around 8pm while I was there, and that was on a Tuesday night. The music featured here is a good mix of jazz, blues and some 80s classics I hadn't heard in ages. Tuba is another great option for that informal social gathering, party or function.
Resorting to golf? Then you've got to check out Excite Golf in Sukhumvit Soy 24, Bangkok. Tired of the old way of improving your game, hitting ball after ball in the heat? Then have a look at the new facilities of Excite Golf. Their motto is, play better faster. I'm here today with Kurt Grieve, who's the general manager of Excite Golf. Tell us about your facility. We're really excited about this facility, as it is the name Excite Golf. We've been open about five months now, and we're really focusing on our technology, our PGA certified golf instructors, and as a convenient location for all of our guests and customers. What makes Excite Golf different is the technology, including TrackMan, Sampart Lab, and something that is unique to Excite Golf. KVEST is a body mapping uh, software program that you put on your body and we analyze the swing through the motion of your body. And our instructors are level three certified. We are very excited about uh, the program and the software that goes along with it. So Kurt, it's more than just a practice facility. Exactly, Phil. This is a place to practice, take lessons, we do sell memberships, and we're offering a free trial lesson for everybody to come in and experience the Excite golf programs. And our motto is, play better, faster. Well, I'm certainly keen to play better, faster. So I get straight into the technology and try out the TrackMan. TrackMan uses Doppler radar technology, which tracks ball flight data from 10 to 350 yards. Not that that affects me. What we'll get you to do is we'll get you to hit some drivers, see where you are, and then hopefully we'll uh, try and optimize you. TrackMan is golf's most accurate and used launch monitor. It records every aspect of my swing, and it's an extremely fast method to improve your driving. The path is good, it's to the right. Yeah. We just need that face angle to be a little bit exactly. more to the right. Some amount, and the path further to the right. Uh, up and to the right, go. Amazingly, after a short time with Alex, my drives were going further with the correct shape. Excite Golf is also a perfect fit for kids with its Snag program. Start new at golf. One of the great things about Snag is you can start from as small as three years old. Snag is also used for corporate team building events and can be held at Excite Golf or even in your office. Great for entertaining clients and your team. So this is the part of the lesson that the kids enjoy the most and we're all going to try and hit it anywhere on the body. I'm not sure what the target thinks of it, but back to the technology and the Sam putt lab. What we're going to do to start with is for Phil, we're going to get him to take three putts and after that we'll analyse exactly what's going on. The computer will record every aspect of my putting stroke. We've got your putting tendency. The tendency includes things like your aim, the face, whereabouts on the putter face it hits. We have the consistency, and then the final one here is the timing. So that's the speed of the stroke and the length of the stroke. And then we need to see how can we improve this the fastest. Yep. The Sam Putt Lab is a state-of-the-art putting training facility based on ultrasound measurements. And having a lesson with an Excite Sam Putt Lab certified professional lets you understand exactly what a square putter face feels like at impact. I would look for you initially to look at aim line, a little bit of stroke work, and then getting, getting out the centre of the putter, yes. get a better roll on the ball, and therefore that would improve your putting. Putting perfected, let's have a look at the K-Vest. The K-Vest is golf's leading 3D motion capture analysis and training tool. Well, let's see how inflexible I, my swing can yeah. be. Okay, let's get you loaded up. The K-Vest uh, measures swing efficiency and movement patterns to help improve swing faults much faster than traditional training methods. The KVEST records and sends all the information about my swing to the computer from posture to alignment at address. Your pelvis is three degrees open, but your shoulders are 25 degrees open, so you've just got your shoulders just a little bit too far left of target there. The first red flag for me, and this is one of the exercises we'll work on straight away, is your posture position at address. So that's just saying you're getting a little bit round-shouldered, a little bit too far over the ball this way. Then with the help of my PGA certified instructor Phil, I'm given some drills to quickly train muscle memory for faster and longer lasting swing improvement. Just going to teach you where your correct posture should actually be. The K-Vest really helps golfers of all ages and levels to improve. Well one of the benefits of being at Excite Golf is you've got a, all the video capability and equipment that gives you a lot of feedback. It's stuff that you don't get on the driving range. You see where the ball goes but you don't know how you got to that position and why it went that way. Here you do. 
I certainly recommend a trip to Excite Golf to get the most out of your game. You're watching Destination Thailand. Luxury takes many forms. The Riviera Jom Tien captures the very best of today's lifestyle. Building on the success of Riviera Wongamat, Riviera Jom Tien will offer the ultimate in gracious living. 46 stories, stylish modern facilities, a family paradise just steps from the beach. Riviera Jom Tien, a new journey begins. Nigel Kornick is one of the most experienced developers in Thailand. Stephen O'Dell from Soda is an award-winning architect. Colin Okashimo is Asia's modern landscape Zen master. This is the team behind Padia's exciting new project, South Point. Developed by Kingdom Property, South Point is financed by Kung Thai Bank and has full EIA approval. Invest with the best and don't miss the point. You're watching Destination Thailand. Hi, I'm Dylan Jones. And I'm Bo Song Wisawa. Join us as we travel to Alt Thailand. And we share our food secrets and how to cook Thai food. This is about making Thai food at home with understanding and it will be delicious. So today we're going to do a lovely grilled pork salad with lychee. Okay, it's a great salad, it's lovely and refreshing. I'm going to start by doing the dressing. Maybe Bo, you want to start by doing some lychees? Of course. Cool. So I'm going to use two coriander roots and just a pinch of salt and pound it to a fine paste. So I just open the top of the lychee, get this really small knife, try to debone the seed of the lychee out. So should I do the garlic with the skin on or skin off today? Oh, actually up to you. Okay, maybe I'll do a combination of both. So we use four cloves of Thai garlic, two with skin on, two with skin off. Lovely. The skin on makes it a bit more uh, fragrant, nutty. Okay, so I'm just going to use one long red chilli, but I'm just going to remove the seeds. The seeds are going to make it... Uh, quite hot and a little bit bitter. Okay. Do you want to start putting everything in the bowl? My dressing's going to be ready in a minute or so. Oh, <laughs> is it going to be that quick? Yeah. While you're parting the thing, I'm going to slide the shallot for you. Okay. So your salad. Cool. I'm also going to add two bird's eye chilies. The red ones, the longer red ones. They're going to add a bit of heat, but also some fragrance. Okay, so I'll just Put everything in the bowl. Okay, cool. So you have slight shallot. Yeah. Coriander leaf, like handful. Mint, handful as well. Some yam bean. Yeah. Just give a crunch to the salad. And if you want to grab some bitter leaf, oh. shed the, the meat of the lychee in. Just shred the bit of leaves in. So we just mix everything together. Oh, I'm just going to add a little bit of sugar. Probably about one tablespoon of sugar. And this is the grilled pork. You have been marinated pork with like coconut creams and grill it. But, you know, if you don't have time. Just buy it. Just buy it from, <laughs> you know, the Som Tam stand or... Well, I'm just going to add a little bit of fish sauce into my dressing. Just season it. So let's say one and a half tablespoons. And then I'm just going to add some fresh limes. When I squeeze the lime, don't squeeze too hard. If you squeeze too hard, then you get the bitterness out from the skin. So with the dressing, you make it slightly hot, but not too hot. Yep. Um, got sourness from the limes. Absolutely. Don't make it too sweet because the lime is quite sweet already. Dressing's going in. And just mix it with, with thai salad you want a lot of dressing so it should not be lightly dressed at all <laughs> mix it well pop it on the plate 
bomb. Finish with the deep fried shallots. And this is just a wonderful fresh summery salad that's perfect as part of a Thai meal. Visit us on Facebook and tell us what you like. Or check out our website at www.destinationthailand.tv Our presenters have their hair cut, coloured and styled at Moga Salons, now available at eight locations in Thailand. Our presenters use Philip B's organic skin and hair products, available now at the Emporium, Bangkok. This program was brought to you by South Point Patia.